This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the janitorialstore.com, the online destination for successful cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. When you own a cleaning company, a good deal of its success will depend on your ability to lead your employees. In order to be a good leader, you must possess certain qualities. Some of these qualities may come naturally to you, and some of them you may have to work on. In order to figure out what qualities you need to work on, you need to know what makes a good leader. Here are some of the qualities I believe you need to possess if you want to lead your employees effectively. Number one, communication skills. If you don't communicate well with your employees, you'll struggle with everything from training to giving feedback to complimenting employee on a job well done. Number two, integrity. Good leaders are honest, they hold themselves and others to a higher standard, and they're trustworthy. People like to follow leaders with integrity. Number three, enthusiasm. As a leader of your team, you need to be enthusiastic about your business and the services you provide. After all, if you aren't enthusiastic about the business, why should your employees be? When you lead with enthusiasm, you inspire your employees to become better at what they do. Number four, responsibility. A good leader takes responsibility for his or her own actions and those of the team. Being responsible means you don't point fingers. Instead, you take the time to solve the problem with your employees and then work on additional training. Number five, confidence. A good leader is confident in his or her ability to lead, which is important because you must believe in yourself in order to get through the difficult times. But being confident does not mean being boastful or egotistical. Rather, it means confidently leading with humility. Number six, accepts change. Change is inevitable and the best leaders accept this and embrace it. Then they find the best ways to introduce the change to their employees in order to make a smooth transition. So these are my top six qualities of being a good leader. There are many more, so what I'd like you to do is to share what your thoughts are on what makes a good leader by posting your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you're looking for additional help with starting or growing your cleaning business, the janitorialstore.com is the place for people who are pursuing their dreams of owning a successful cleaning business. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. <music>